Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain the fourth problem of Lead Code Weekly Contest 315, which is the only interesting problem of the contest. Uh, the problem is count savages with fixed bounds. So uh, what is the problem? Uh, we are given an integer array nums and two integers min k and max k. So we have to find uh, fixed bound savages of num. The number of fixed bound savages of num. So what is a fixed bound savage? A fixed bound savage for a given min k and max k is that um, the minimum element of the savage is equal to min k and the maximum element of the savage is equal to max k. Okay. So uh, let's go through the um, ex uh, examples here. So the first example is 1, 3, 5, 2, 7, 5. Min k is 1 and max k is 5. So you can check all the savages. So for this savage 1, 3, 5, the minimum element is 1 and maximum element is 5. So it is a um, uh, fixed bound subarray and um, another thing you can consider is 1, 3, 5, 2. Here also minimum element is 1 and maximum element is 5. So this is also a fixed bound subarray. But if you want to take 7 here, the minimum, uh, sorry, maximum element will be 7. So it is not equals to max k. So um, our answer um, is not 1, 3, 5, 2, 7. So 1, 3, 5, 2, 7 is not a fixed bound subarray. So the desired answer is 2. So uh, let's um, check out some observations here. So uh, let's say. Uh, we are iterating on uh, some value, um, let's say this is a1 dot 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 a n. Now, yeah, let's say we are at some index uh, i, let's say i is between 1 to n, and i is uh, a i is uh, less than min k, a i is less than min k, or a i is maximum of uh, sorry, a i is greater than of max k. Okay. So, here you can observe is that there could be no survey whose left will be at this. So let, let us consider this as the left point and this, this consider this as the right point. So there could be no subarrays whose left point is uh, at less than i and whose right point is greater than i. So so uh, let's say if we are doing some kind of uh, two pointer approach where a, a will store the left point of subarrays and r will store the right point of subarrays. So we could we should move uh, uh, l to i plus one also, okay? Because there should be no l which is less than i. So we should move l to uh, i plus 1. That is the first observation you can make. If a i is less than min k or a i is greater than max k, we should move our left pointer to i plus 1. This is a two pointer approach. Uh, I am again saying uh, what I am discussing is a two pointer approach. Again after seeing the constraints, I am not sure if order of n log n or something will get accepted or not. You can try something with uh, binary search and uh, anyway, uh, sorry, uh, segmentary kind of thing. But I don't. I'm not sure if this should be accepted or not. Seeing the constraints, so I thought about some two-pointer approach of order of n. So uh, again, uh, I am saying this. L and R, these two pointers, I am maintaining. L should point to the left point of any survey, and R should point to right point of any survey. And the first observation is, uh, if a i is less than min k, let's call it one. Uh, a i is less than min k, or a i is greater than max k, we should move our left pointer to i plus one. Okay. So, uh, and, and uh, mm, uh, what could be the second observation? So, let's uh, find out what should be our second observation. So, let's say, uh, let's, uh, let's again take something. Uh, let's say e1, e2, e3, let's write this thing, e5 and e6. Let's say this is uh, our array. Okay. And L is pointing to the first element of the survey. And let's say R is pointing to the last element of the survey. Now, let's... Uh, think that uh, our min k, let's say a3 equals to min k, a3 is equals to min k, and let's let us assume a4 equals to max k. So, how many uh, subarrays which is ending at index r we can take? Okay, so how many subarrays whose uh, right point is r we can take? So, we can take uh, at max um, this uh, l could be this, either this. So the survey will be a1, 2, a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, a6, or uh, our left point could be this a, a2, a3, a4, a5, a6. Our left point could be this a3, a4, a5, a6. But our left point can't be a4 because uh, min k is at a3 and min k is not uh, there after a4. So we could not move our l pointer further from a3. Okay, sorry, further from three. So uh, there could be at max three values. So there could be at max three values and how we are getting these three values we can check it as uh, that let's say the um, the index of min k is mean index so let's say uh, index of min k is mean index and index of max k is max index so what we can take is that we can take uh, this 
minimum of this two minimum of the mean index minimum of this index and this index okay minimum of mean index comma minimum of uh, sorry minimum of mean index and max index minus l plus 1 will give us this value of 3 okay this is our second observation that if we fix our right pointer and uh, we have our minimum index and maximum index then uh, minimum of mean index comma max index minus l plus 1 could give us our uh, number of uh, subarrays which can uh, which can in that index r okay for a given value of l okay so now uh, let's move forward uh, now uh, let's say here i have uh, taken only two values of min k and max k now what would happen if there are multiple values of min k and max k present in the array so uh, let's say a1 a2 uh, a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 a8 let's say mm, uh, let me put l here and r here okay now let's say uh, i am pointing a3 is min k let me write at a my k and a6 is a my k and um, a5 is max k let me write at mk and a7 is also mk okay there are two uh, indices of min k and max k so here uh, our above logic how should it work so let's think about the solution so here what will we take we will take the maximum value of this mik and mik okay and another again the maximum value of this mk and mk so our uh, final minimum index will be this and our mm, final mk will be maximum index will be this okay got it so what would be our desired value our desired value will be l minus this uh, minimum of this mik and this mk so sh this should be this so l is at 1 and uh, minimum of mik and mk is at 6 so total number of values we can take is 6 minus 1 plus 1 will be 6 so let's jump into our solution so let's jump into the solution here I have initialized answer equals to 0 uh, and n is the size of the array l equals to 0 and r equals to 0 the initial condition I am taking now uh, uh, this is the max index will point to minus 1 and mean index will point to minus 1 okay now if ar less than mean k uh, or ar greater than max k this I have already explained that if uh, ai less than mean k or ai greater than max k we will put our pointer l back to i plus 1 that's what I am doing here. Uh, I am incrementing the value of part. This is uh, universal in all the cases. Here also I am incrementing the value of part. And uh, I am putting L equals to R. So this is nothing means L equals to I plus 1, R equals to I plus 1. Now if AR equals to max K, uh, I, I am just putting max index equals to R. And if AR equals to min K, I am just putting min index equals to R. So what uh, this is doing here? Here this is doing, if I found minimum index, uh, at a6 uh, we will just update our our previous minimum index will be 3 and when we found that there is another min, min k at a6 we will just uh, do min index equals to 6 that's what I am doing here similarly for um, the minimum in, maximum index was 5 previously and when we find uh, 7 we will just in, uh, change the maximum index to 7 okay so that's what, what I am doing here now I am checking if max index not equals to minus 1 and min index not equals to minus 1 and just taking minimum of maximum index um, comma minimum index minus l plus 1 comma 0 l what i am why i am taking this here because uh, there could be a case where l should be the greater than max index or min index so for that uh, for handling that case i am taking maximum of this and 0 and uh, r plus plus is happening here and here also you can just take this and uh, take it out of these conditions and at the end i am returning answer so uh, I hope you got my uh, explanation. So what I am doing again, uh, let me tell you. So uh, uh, I am taking two pointers L and R. I am fixing the value of R and trying to check that uh, if it is, uh, that how many values uh, like how many values of left indexes from L to R. That um, let's say I will iterate from this L to R such that I to R is a fixed bound subset. That's what I am doing. Uh, if you don't understand, please go through the, uh, my video again. Uh, if you still have uh, any doubt, you can always ask me in the comment section. I will reply each and every comment. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thank you.